Redeemer of Israel and his holy ones, to him whom man despises, to him whom the nation abhorreth, to his servant of rulers, kings shall see and arise, princes also shall worship because of the Lord that is faithful, and the Holy One of Israel, and he shall choose thee. Like this is the meat of Isaiah, read the book of Isaiah. You're reading 49? When they were all going to yeah, sacrifice. Yeah, seven verses, that's all, seven verses of 26. <laughs> wow, you was hungry. Wait, when you think about it, he says, this is, this is the meat of the word. Like, well, you can understand the New Testament better when you understand the prophecy in the Old Testament. Yeah. It's amazing. Like, talking about he's come, he comes to those who, who turn from their transgressions to Jacob. He's, he's the Redeemer of Israel. My servant in whom I will be glorified. He, says, he calls him Israel in verse 3. He says, Now my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. Because... Unlike Israel, who was unfaithful to him, he was faithful. And he went through the, they went through the desert 40 years, he went through the desert 40 days. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. tempted and tried just like they were, but yet without sin. Yeah. So, it's amazing. He's like, he's like, he's no, Israel. You know, actually, yeah. John, can, can God you pray for you? Of course. Oh, I'm missing your order of rice. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. Yeah, let me bring your order of rice. Okay. Okay. All right. Ooh. Yeah. So I like the imagery that it says. No, we can have a Bible study because I'm not going. Yeah, to that's enough. what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm saying. Me too. Yeah. Hey, then we said we could do Bible we can study. We devour this book, Isaiah. Yeah. I've been eating too. Much. Joey, you like you like to devour Isaiah? <laughs> uh, <laughs> bro, I don't know. I don't know Isaiah very well. I don't know it enough. Yeah. But I know it a lot more than I did a few, a few months ago. Thank you. It's, ama it's amazing, bro. It's a um, about Jesus Christ coming. Uh, wow. I guess we pray for you in a couple minutes. Okay, okay, no problem. Okay, okay. So, what's your name? Yasmin. Yasmin? Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were the one who called for the reservation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's good to meet you. So we're here by the grace of God, you know, because God, Christ, Jesus Christ, united us by the blood He shed on the cross. So only by by His blood we have been brought back but out of our sins. The Lord Jesus saved us from our sins, and now now we have to tell the world about Him. So, Okay, I'll be back when you guys are ready. All right, thank you. Amen. The, the passage you just read to you is about like every little passage you just read. Um, I'm a tribal contest because of Jesus Christ, the Lord, the glory of God the Father. That's yes. Philippians. Yes. Which is the, the New Testament. This is the Old Testament. So this is this is like about 600, 800 years before Christ even comes. This is probably about him coming. Hundreds and hundreds of years before he comes. Imagine that. Imagine this is the time these prophecies are these these are prophecies are being spoken about somebody's gonna come. He's like, hey, speaking about a redeemer of Israel, the redeemer of Israel and his holy one to him whom man despises, to him whom the nation abhorreth, to his servant of rulers, kings shall see and arise, shall see and arise. Talking about the future thing, and we're hearing about this person, the redeemer of Israel. And we're like, when is this going to be fulfilled? And then from now, 800 years later, our great, 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 grandchildren will hear about this. And the Christ will come then. Think about if this was this time right here. No one knows. No, no, I'm thinking like this is, like this is before Jesus even ever even came to the cross. This is 100 years before he came. And got and to the T, the prophecies came exactly true. It's amazing. I want to be able to quote the whole book of Isaiah. It's amazing. I <laughs> found the Isaiah, the whole thing. What? I want to be so biblically well versed that I want to read the Bible from front to back by memory. It's amazing. Thank you. God can do a lot in a year. Let's say 2021 is my goal. No. I'm thinking about tonight and turn out to this one thing. I know, like, right? What do you mean? It's you too said, much. Wait, wait, what did you say? <laughs> you say quote from back to bottom? Back to front to back. Front to back. You didn't say quote it from front to back, did you? Yeah. I did. You know how much work memory? memory? <laughs> 
you know how much work it is? It's a lot of work. People, people seem to think I naturally somehow am able to remember the word. Yeah. But it's because I consistently read it again and again and again and again. I spend a lot of time. And I'm, I'm, I'm saying it takes time. So people, it's not an easy thing to memorize scripture. But I, I'm like meditating on it though. But it takes a lot of work. Yeah, so it's not I like know, I just I like remember scripture. It's like I spend time reading it again and again and again. Meditating on it day after day. I read about the same passage again a few days later or whatever. But, and then that's how I remember it. It starts sticking in, in my memory and I can like start quoting it. That's it. Okay. People have excuses like, oh, I'm not good at memory. Yeah. I feel like that's, you know, maybe, you know, maybe some, maybe something to that, but, you know, I believe God, everybody can. We can all remember the Holy like, Spirit. what restaurant you go to. You can remember stuff. So yeah. why would you be able to remember scripture? That's true. You can you can memorize it. It just takes work. It takes a lot of work. Yeah. So, and it's not always, it's not about quoting the word, it's about living the word out. It's true. About doing the word and not just hearing it. It's like doing the word. Your word I have hidden in my heart so that I will not sin against you. Amen. Psalms. I can't say it, but it's Psalms. 119. Oh, 119. Okay. 119. Okay. 119. Okay. I gotta see God. Yes, bro. Yeah. You have to. Yeah, bro. Bro, I'll, I'll help you, man. I'll help you. Yeah. You know, and highlighting and underlining things is, you know, is very good. That's what I do, yeah. Refer back to the <gasps> it is. It's Psalms 119.11. Thy word I have hidden in mine heart, that I might not sin against thee. Yeah. Blessed art thou, Lord, teach me thy statutes. With my lips have I declared all the judgments of thy mouth. I rejoice in the way I love this verse. I rejoice in the way of thy testimonies as much as in all riches. As much as in all riches. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies and as as much as in all riches. So it's comparing testimonies to rich riches. You know, Jesus loves you guys. It because it, it's true to compare. He died for you, but you can watch it. I know he's somewhere. I see it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you know, what was it? I thought we were capable of you, like, stop for a screen. Psalm chapter 4. Psalm 4. I want to know books like Nehemiah better. Yeah. Psalm chapter 4. Psalm chapter 4. Psalm chapter 4. Psalm chapter 4. The prophets? Yeah, Psalm chapter 4. It says, verse 7, Thou hast put gladness in my heart, more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. More, more than in the time that the corn and the wine increased. You put gladness in my heart. What? <laughs> So, okay. Well, I've been thinking about that the whole time. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Wait, can I eat this? <laughs> you can eat it if you want. Does anyone want it? No. I can't today, Get your phone back, praise the Lord. Yeah, praise the Lord. <laughs> wow, amen. So, I wanted to do a YouTube video because my audience is targeted toward unbelievers. It's so, hard. Yeah. so, one of my, I want the video to be, well, I think the Lord put on my heart to name a video, Who is Jesus? Yeah. Or, no, is Jesus real? Yeah. Therefore, um, people will see the thumbnail, so like the picture of the video, and click on it instantly to see like they have questions about Jesus. They click on it and they have access to information about him from a human being, rather than searching in the own book. Because people are in, are intimidated by this book, unbelievers. So, yeah, yeah. If you are willing to do the video with me, I was wondering. You want it? Are you talking about this drink? No. Oh, okay. Are you going to drink it or me? Are you going to drink it hot or no? Drink it, man. No, he still loves you, sir. He's eating it. He got the water next to him, too, already. You should dump some into your container. Is this your container? Dump some into your container first. You should try it. No, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't touch it. Oh, heck no. <laughs> so, would you be willing to do the video? 
Yeah. Okay. Now, in in that case, could you find verses? Well, we could do the video and then let the Holy Spirit like flow through us. Amen. Amen. Um, so that they could live by the Spirit. And we are the sons of God. I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's talking about plural, like, sons and daughters. That's the second one. This one, yeah. this one. Sons of God. Yeah. They didn't learn the spirit. Yeah. Yeah. The, Holy the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. You wish to die, what would you spend eternity on? Huh? Yeah. I remember you from somewhere. Thank you. He don't speak or... English. Oh, he don't speak English. Oh. Jesus te ama. Dios los bendiga. Dios lo bendiga. Jesus te ama. Adios, buenas noches. Cristo es el camino, amigo. Hey. <laughs> That's the one that cursed me out because I like the trauma. Yeah. Really? Yeah, the Which I mean, one, the red I, or the blue? The blue one. That's why he saw <laughs> me. He didn't say that. Yep. It would cuss me out. <laughs> <laughs> he was, yeah, he was open, he was like open to the word, and if only you guys know Spanish. <laughs> Crazy. I do. I know Spanish, oh, but, yeah, they're, but they're, they're leaving, though. No, so he's speaking big ass. That was the one that beat me up. His peace was upon us. Yeah. Cody, get, bro, the guy you just reached out to, he's walking by, he's like, as he's No, no, the audience. That's how he did it, because I like the Trump that day. Oh. Yeah. I remember that day, yeah, it was funny. Yeah. I was on the car with Trump <laughs> before I went to Texas. Donald Trump. <laughs> bro, bro, the word of God is alive. The word of God is alive. But I was so much in Trump that I didn't. Yeah. You still eating them, bro? So my, my my hope for you is that you would devour the book of the Bible. Like, it's pretty good. <laughs> devour the Bible, read it. Like you need to know the Bible. Now, can you can you quote any any whole, whole chapter of scripture? Can you quote any chapter? No. I can a little bit. A whole chapter. Not a because how can, if you can't no, quote no, scripture, how do you know what scripture says if you can't quote it? You know what I mean? I could say it's something. I remember mean, something. Because you 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 could continue to say the same verses over and over again, <laughs> but you you man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds death. out of the mouth of God, not some words, by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Men must not live on bread alone. By the law, he commands. Yeah. yeah. But the law he commanded is all shit. Help, Lord. Like the heart. No, it hurts. The Ten Commandments. He wants the rights, bro. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I can remember little by little, but I can't remember the exact word. I'm sure you got it. You did. You did. You did. You did. Like him, he keep full all day. Like all the night. bananas? He said, You know, they say in the Bible that um, the fool only raises and laughs. I get a fort. But a wise sits on his own wine. In Proverbs? I think it's in Proverbs. But the fool rages and laughs. Yeah. But a wise man, a wise woman, sits inside. So I think it's in the way of the one who is there, but he was sitting there. Is that Proverbs? Somewhere in the, If I had my Bible, I would show you. Wisdom crieth out. She uttereth his voice in the streets. From 120. How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? The scorners delight in the scorning, and the fools hate knowledge. Fools hate knowledge. Fools hate knowledge because they're fools. Right. You know? Hmm. Yeah. So he I think you hate something say, you need. Do not despise the instruction of your father and your mother. Bind them about your neck. Write them upon the table of your heart. So it shall be well with you. And the days on the earth will be long because you listen to wisdom. God bless you. Do you it's amazing. Amazing. Word, word of God comes comes alive. It's like when people study together. Yes, yeah, so I agree. Hey, hello. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life. But he that openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. Their mouth is an open sepulchre. Gracias. With their mouth. It, Romans. Romans chapter three. Open sepulchre. 
They flatter with the tongues. Mm -hmm. Please, yeah. I even drew a little mouth. Look, that that visualization. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Their mouth is an opal sacral boy. I looked that up. I think it's like a tomb. A grave. A tomb. Yeah. Where the people? Where is it? At? Yeah. It's a yeah. It's a okay. So it says. It's on Help, Lord, for the godly man sees it. For the faithful fail from among the children of men. They speak vanity, everyone with his neighbor. With flattering lips and with a double heart do they speak. The Lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaketh proud things. Who have said with our tongue will we prevail. Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? For the oppression of the poor, for the sighing of the needy, now will I arise, said the Lord. I will set him in safety from him that puffeth at him. The words of the Lord are pure words. As silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. This is what it says. Verse 8, Psalm 12. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. The wicked are everywhere when the vilest men are are leading uh, the government, are leading, are exalted. Are exalted as the idea of they're ruling all the people. Man, we need the word. This we is, do. This is amazing. Hold up my goings and my paths that my footsteps slip not. Uh, our foot, we don't, our footsteps will slip if, if he doesn't hold up our goings. Reading the word is a lot better with together than alone. Yeah. I mean, you definitely want to read alone. <laughs> yeah. Being yeah. together is like insight. You can pray for each other. You can this power, this power when you come together. Yeah. Wow. Amen. Amen. <laughs>